Catherine has a gift that very few people possess, and that is that she can always find the good. In any person, any situation, she never takes anything but the high road, and I truly envy her ability to always see the positive in life. We became super, super close as sorority sisters and then as roommates and just as life confidants in general. What I don't think she saw coming was meeting the love of her life at her chicken salad chick corporate meeting over six years ago, Ricky. Those of you that know Ricky and his background, he, he's, you know, gone down some some paths that were a little challenging and, and proud of all of you, especially especially Ricky. Kat's like a daughter to us, and so it's been great to have her in our family for the last six years. We just appreciate all the things that you've gone through and, um, and standing by Ricky as he went through his stuff. But now after all the waiting, all the planning, and all the listening, you've done to hear what other people think this day should be like, you've made it here. So in the past year, you bought your first house, you got pregnant, had a beautiful baby boy, and are now being married with both of your boys as part of this wedding. Some of your favorite memories, lots of trip to Myrtle Beach, Mercer Orchard in the fall for apple picking, Braves games, all those Braves games, and of course, eight weddings, but now here we are finally at your own. So today is the day to celebrate because it's the beginning. I know it feels like it took a while long to get here, but it's only the beginning. And in the end, what makes marriage so special is not how many goods you, how many years you've had, but how many good years you have together. I, Ricky, take you, Kat, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. That's a perfect reaction. I love you, babe. You get the lipstick on you. For better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death to his part. This is my solemn vow. When I say this, that you two, through the years uh, you have spent together, have already embodied all of the sacred vows that you shall shared together today. You've chosen each other day after day, and now for the rest of your days. And I could not be more happy for you and your beautiful family. Catherine, I love you endlessly. Ricky, she is gold, so always treat her as such. And cheers to you both. your night to you guys. By the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and of the Universal Life Church to pronounce you husband and wife. Ricky, you may and please do kiss your bride. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure for the very first time to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Richard McMurtry. <laughs>